After what may as well been an incredible spring season of anime featuring the likes of Kimetsu no Yaiba, Oshinoko and a stellar troll anime that is coming out soon. Some anime is here and while it may not compare to the juggernaut that was last season, it still has some highlights such as the return of noteworthy anime like Jujutsu Kaisen or Mushoku Tensei, a certain anime that may as well have been animated at 60 frames per second. Many anime adding more to the cesspool that is Isekai and providing something new to expand my thighs collection. Do not judge me. But in the season containing highly anticipated shows notoriously mid ones or whatever the hell this is. What is that? One anime managed to captivate a lot of anime watches after the first episode and that is ZOM 100, bucket list of the dead. Now the zombie genre in the the anime medium is certainly a sight to behold. Either that or unorthodox as hell. And this one is both. The anime follows Akira Tendo, a young adult cheerful at the prospect of starting a job at an industry he's always dreamt of working at. But contrary to his beliefs of working alongside ambitious and helpful employers and perhaps getting a lovely lass, he soon found out that the job was excruciating. A new day signals most suffering and turmoil awaiting him at the hellhole referred to as his job. A company that doesn't care about his well-being constantly demanding an unfathomable amount of workload to be completed in a matter of minutes, staving off hunger with cup ramen and going through an unhealthy amount of energy drinks to keep him awake while working long hours of unpaid overtime. His beliefs became nothing more than mere delusions due to his co-workers having this mindset that working until you're on the precipice of death is equivalent to doing a magnificent job. Many people may ask, why didn't he just quit? Well, he didn't want to burn his co-workers with his workload and when you have someone this lovely in the firm, certain devious thoughts may or may not form in one's head. Unfortunately, the only thing Tender will be clapping is his own hands as he's driven to the brink of insanity, so no bitches either. After three years of being in a downward spiral and steadily losing his sanity, he finds his landlord being mauled by a zombie and eventually realizing that the world has been overrun by the undead. Now normally you'd think someone's reaction to this situation would be... But his was... Surprisingly, he takes a zombie apocalypse to free him from the shackles, tying him to the corporation and the unrelenting hours of his crush's organs being demolished by the reincarnation of the infamous ugly bastard. But it really brings to light how broken he truly was and how an apocalypse of all things ended up being the silver lining he needed to reinvigorate his life and pursue a multitude of things prior to becoming a zombie or kick in the bucket. You, you get it? Kick in the bucket? No. Psalm 100 bucket lit. Yeah, I'll just fucking shut up. Despite the perilous situation he's in and the chaos and non-archy unfolding, the boy basically became the freest person in the world. I take some notes, Aaron. On a visual standpoint, the anime is incredible as it utilizes certain elements to accentuate Tendo's condition or mental state. The anime steadily takes on a darker shade as his state of mind becomes detrimental and uses black bars to show how he's essentially similar to a caged animal, suffocating from the amount of pressure provided by the company. But eventually the setting is covered by an assortment of vibrant colors as he finally sets his eyes on the current state of the world. Obviously, showcasing this sort of thing in the manga would be difficult since, well, it's most likely black, white with a tinge of rotting flesh. So the stylistic choice to have everything have splotches of paint as if the aftermath of a paintball match and having him break the black boss to signify his freedom from that wretched company was actually an excellent decision as it shows that the current situation Tendo is in is far more optimal to him and juxtaposed to his previous bleak and dull lifestyle which was indicated by the aesthetic taking on a more monochromatic theme. A round of applause to the staff for capturing Tendo's condition so perfectly. Uh, that and the Wicked animation because mm, what? I don't know who the hell has possession of God's powers in that studio, but damn, are they putting them to good use? The running animation and camera shots in the first episode looked incredible. Also, I never knew tackles were capable of generating impact frames, but who cares? Cause goddamn, was it gratifying as hell? Because it was to his boss, and he may as well be the reason the slave-driving scumbag is still able to maintain his job and ensuring that everyone in the firm is working until the six feet under, and thus producing these zombified infidels. So get wrecked, you vermin! Also, hear me out. Although despite it having comedic elements being an outlandish take on the zombie genre and its light-hearted nature, ZOM 100 really drives home the message that you only have one life, a single opportunity to achieve all that you want to set out to do. Here, there's a boy who has been at the lowest point in his life, writing down a list of things to do in a state of mayhem, ready to finally live his life to the fullest after an incident that may as well be the end of humanity as they know it. Whether you're lost in life or someone who settled into a profession that they don't particularly enjoy, all it takes is one thing, not necessarily a zombie apocalypse, to reignite a person's passion, thus allowing them to do something worthwhile. It's never too late to pursue something in life. If you simply remain idle and stay in a settlement where you derive no pleasure whatsoever, you will be accompanied by misery. 
Humans are ephemeral beings, so may as well just plunge and enjoy ourselves because the only time when one can truly say they can pursue something is when they draw their last breath. Or before getting mauled by a zombie.